Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how you can print booleans to the console in the C language. So let's get right into it. So we need to include stdio and stdbool, so we can print stuff out to the console, but also use booleans. And then we've got three booleans, we've got one is true and then two are false. So let's start printing some booleans. So firstly, I'm going to be showing you how you can print multiple booleans. What we do is we can do printf, we can have um, a string of text with new line at the end. However, each percent %d is going to be replaced by a value of a boolean in either 0 or 1, because percent %d is like short for digit. And after we do our string, we do a comma, then we do bool1, comma bool2, comma bool3. We can have as many of these as we want, however, it, there needs to be 1% d present in the string we're printing for each boolean that we want to print. So we could have 2 in this string, but then we'd have to get rid of bool3. Or we could add a fourth one to this string, but then we'd need to add a bool4 variable to print. So we're going to hit play, and it prints out. 1 for true, and then 0 for false, because 0 is false and 1 is true. However, we want to print out the string representations of booleans. Basically, we want to print out true and false. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, this line of code is going to print out true or false, depending on what the value of the boolean is. So, we do... Well, I'm going to do b1 is, then percent %s. So we did percent %d here, but we're doing percent %s here because we're going to be printing out a string. While we are going to be printing out a value of a boolean, it's going to be represented as a string, because a boolean basically stores a 0 or a 1. So, how do we do this? So obviously we need 1% S per string representation of a boolean we show. After the comma, we're going to do bool1, which is the boolean we want to print. Then we do a question mark, then we do true, colon false. So this is a ternary operator, and it's a really quick way of doing a very basic if statement. We have a boolean, and then we do a question mark, and what's here before the colon and after the question mark is what's going to happen when the condition is true. So we're just going to have a true string here, so we print out true where this percent %s is. However, after the colon, it's what happens when the condition is false. You don't just have to have a boolean variable, you could have a boolean statement, like checking if a number is greater than another number, or checking if something's equal to something. Or we can just check a boolean to see if it's true or false. And if it's false, we print out false. So that's the basics of how a ternary operator works in this context. Let's save our work. And as you can see, it says b1 is true, which is good, that's what we want. Now let's look at how we can print out multiple string representations of a boolean. So we're going to do printf b1 is percent %s and b2 is percent %s then a new line character. So notice how we've got multiple pairs of commas like we have with here. Well, we can have a ternary operator for each comma to then return a string value of either true or false to each percent %s. After our string, we do comma, bool1, question mark, true, colon, false. Then we do a comma, bool2, question mark, true, false. We're doing what we're doing here, but we're doing it more than once for each percent %s. Remember, you need to have a boolean to print for each percent %s. And when I say boolean, I mean a boolean with a ternary operator, so there's either a true or a false string to print out. So... We're going to save the work and hit play. And, as you can see, it prints out B1 is true and B2 is false. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C tutorials. Thanks for watching.